at a dealership. If there's anyone out there that thinks they can fix her, you'd be dead before you could even try. That's gonna be expensive. Ugh! Y'all, welcome back to my channel, and I'm your host, Alex Zedra. In today's video, we are doing gun fails, except this one, we're gonna call it... This is how you end up going to the morgue. And I don't mean as a field trip to go look at dead bodies and learn something. Um, I mean... This is how you die. Starting with this video. Sorry, what was the little jab to the chest? What was that gonna do? Live round, pointed out my homie. You know, I can understand why maybe you would want to train for something like this to disarm somebody, but you don't have to do it with a live round. And the whole um, grabbing the gun and then the little Eh, jab to the throat there what was that gonna i mean when you when someone else is fighting for their life i don't think um they're just gonna give you the gun that easily and i just love at the end how the cameraman just like pans around down the barrel he's like me next me next Dumb ways to die. so ding dong ditch is an all-around like pastime of things that we did as young teenagers this guy did it unintentionally with a gun <laughs> And he comes in with the ARP and, um, Skyler has just done some fun with you. Who the fuck are you guys? <laughs> oh, shit, is this the wrong house, bro? Oh, my God, I'm yeah. so fucking... <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> can we talk about how this guy just opens the door? Who the fuck are you guys, he says. There was a pistol aimed at your ring camera, dude. This guy's an idiot for opening the door in the first place. I'm sorry, I would have taken a shotgun and just shot through the door and used the ring camera as, you know, proof that it was self-defense. And he comes in with the ARP and, um, Skyler has just done some fun with you. Who the fuck are you guys? Oh, shit, is this the wrong house, bro? Oh, my God, I'm yeah. so fucking... <laughs> Who the fuck are you guys? Yeah, it's the wrong house, you idiot. Oh, my God, they're both dumb. Both of them are dumb. I think the homeowner is dumber for even opening that door. That kid is so lucky he did not get dropped. This next video is kind of like the first one um, where they're teaching or showing how to disarm someone. But I think these people forget, you know, with these little tutorials that firearms are a ranged weapon and you don't necessarily have to be that close to somebody to shoot them. I don't think that ever really happens. I mean, I guess it's good to train for it. But anyway, I'll just show you how stupid this video is. <laughs> Come on, where's your money, huh? Where's your money, huh? Where's your money? Come on, tell me now, huh? Where is it? Wait, 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 hold on. Come on, where's your money, huh? Where's your money, huh? Where's your money? Come on, tell me now, huh? Where is it? Why was he going like this with the pistol going? And, and what is he shooting at? I don't know. I mean, I guess if I'm being attacked by a robber with a gun to my head, I'm going to turn around and just shoot a bunch of bystanders. That's what we're training for, apparently. Speaking of training, it's always really important to try uh, and train for different situations. No hate on that. Even around vehicles, except you probably shouldn't take a nice vehicle to the range because sometimes y'all forget bore over sight. You'll see what I mean. Wait, I just realized I said that wrong. Did I just say bore over sight? Sight or bore. Bless it. I swear, I'm like dyslexic or something. What can we just hold on? Not only did he miss a second target, but can we just talk about that grouping on his uh, oh, side view mirror big. he just shot? Ooh. Ah, oh, look at that group. I'm sorry. I'm overanalyzing this. I'm analyzing it by the grouping. I'm not analyzing in the fact that he just shot his side view mirror like an idiot. 
Wait, did he hit his target in the background? Hold on. Bro, it didn't... Oh, really okay, he, it went through the... <laughs> he had no idea that he just shot his side mirror. That's going to be expensive. I changed shirts. Just kidding. This is a sponsored ad slot by Stopbox. Thank you so much, Stopbox, for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to talk to you all about what this is. It requires no electronics, no batteries, firearm security box. You could take this for traveling. You can use it as your bedside. 81 possible combinations that you just use your little phalanges with to open it. I'm to do this without putting it on the table. That way y'all can see about how it works. That easy. Um, there's enough room in here for a full-size pistol. This would be excellent for a bedside if you have kids and you still want rapid access. And again, you don't have to rely on faulty electronics or in case there's, I know some people like to say an EMP or somewhat, but uh, this is slowly rely. As long as your hands don't get blown off, you should still be able to have access to your firearm. One of my favorite things about the stop box is it's a low profile, super lightweight, and allows you to travel effortlessly. Best part of all, it's made here in the USA. So check them out at stopboxusa.com or you can click on the link in the description below. I guess if you're going to end up in the morgue, the last people I probably want to spend my dying hours or minutes with would be with my friends and family. Or get shot by them. That's that's fine too, apparently. You know, this is absolutely insane, and I kind of love it. Wait a minute. Is that another... Is that a bullet hole from previously? I think that's a bullet hole up there on that blue post behind this guy's head from either a practice shot or this isn't this uh, guy's first time shooting a glass bottle off somebody's head. And since we're on the subject of already talking about spending your last dying minutes with your friends and family, what if the person holding your gun was your significant other and they're aiming at you to get you to do something? It's a no for me, dog. Say yes. Where did you shoot that? Is you gonna have my baby? Say yes, or the next yes! one I'm gonna hit you. Shh. Yes! Be quiet. Am... Be quiet. Hold on, where did you shoot it? Did you put a hole somewhere? Is you gonna have my yes! baby? Yes! For you wake no, the I'm, I'm for you wake the neighbors you up. up. For you wake the neighbors yeah, up. Like, even... Is you yo? Yes, I say yes. I'm going to have so you. Swear to God. I swear to God. How this dude gonna say tell her shh before she wakes the neighbors when he just shot a gun in the house? Dang, and I thought rom I thought romance was dead. I love you, bitch. Oh my God. And in case there's anyone out there that don't think women can't be abusers, here's an example. Play that shit. You see that hole in the motherfucking ceiling right there? That's the first shot. The second one, I won't fucking muss. I promise you. <laughs> Try me. I won't, I won't muss. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you, I won't muss. I will not fucking muss. I won't muss at all. I will not muss. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You think I give a fuck? I don't care. Ooh. Get the fuck off of me. I don't care. Let all your motherfucking hoes know you in a motherfucking relationship now. Now. Uh-uh, not Let anymore. I ain't in no relationship Five. anymore after that. Four. Are you in a relationship now? No, look at the camera. You in a relationship. Are you in a relationship? That guy is scared. Your life is on the line at this point, baby. You think I clean? I ain't clean with you at all. I'm not playing with you at all, honey. You risk a lot, I risk a lot. I ain't playing with you. Okay? We clear? We clear? Thank you. My pole is nice. Y'all like that? I do love tricks. Now again. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What the freaking frickin' nah, dude. I'd be like, mm-mm. If there's anyone out there that thinks they can fix her, you'd be dead before you could even try. Holy nope. Anyway, back to dumb training videos and ways to end up in the morgue. Um, I feel like this guy here is the final boss that you have to fight in Call of Duty.
Oh, that poor cameraman, dude. If I was a cameraman, I would have crapped my pants. I did not expect Go. that to happen. No. Oh my god. Wait a minute. This guy's actually legit. I just looked up and it says he was on Deadliest Warrior. He was there for this Spez Not vs. Green Beret episode. His name is Salius Pazuki. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Supposedly he was Spez Not, then became a firearms instructor. And apparently... uh. That m maneuver that he did is when you're surrounded by enemies. What? I just learned something today. I mean, I would rather just pull out my rifle and just start spinning and shooting. I feel like you'd be more accurate just doing that than missing with both. I don't know. He's a professional. I'm just old Southern girl sitting in my freaking basement judging people on the internet. What do I know? Hey, y'all remember the video we did like... A couple videos ago about a guy who's brandishing his pistol in a ram truck on the highway. We have another person who's road raging. He's driving a ram. What is wrong with y'all? I drive a ram. I have road rage, but come on now. Y'all are making this look bad. The fuck? Oh, shit. Try to aim. Oh shit! She's aiming at a dealership. Oh my god! Dang, she got a big old donk on her though. I will say, she obviously has a bigger butt than she does a brain. Holy crap! All right, so I just watched this video, and y'all tell me this is fake or not. I thought it was legit, and then I saw the muzzle flash. It looked like it was CGI, but I don't know if they're, they would go to this much trouble to make it look like it's legit, like with CGI, adding a muscle flash and all that stuff. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments and what you think on this one. Obviously, he has, he has safety as his number one priority because he didn't have a live round in uh, the chamber. He reacted after he did his little... Uh, Fakey flip. Yeah, no, this is definitely fake. Look at the casings falling out. It just doesn't fall natural. And if he was trying to make this look legit, I mean, he aimed the gun at the cameraman. Yeah, no, this is definitely fake. Fake and dumb. You are made of stupid. You know what else is dumb is blowing up 50 pounds of tannerite from like 15 feet. This one's not fake. It's building. Holy shit! God! <laughs> yeah, that's up there. Um. Oh my. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay, that looks like a whole lot of fun, but you're freaking, you are asking for it being that, why would you be that close? I'm not even that close when I shoot like five pounds of Tannerite. This is 50. That was kind of sick though. <laughs> so we're over halfway through with the year of 2024 and you know, being gay is more accepted and that's great. I'm gay. But if you're ever curious about if your friend is gay, here's one way to find out. Nice twin, let me get one. Which one you want? Which one you want? Oh, uh, shit. You want the dick or the titties? You want the dick or the titties? That's hard to decide because the titties fat, but the dick long, twin. Shit, give me the dick. Give me the dick, bro. Give me the dick. Hey, yo. This thing <laughs> is... Hey, this is I, not I, a ditty party. Wait, I just, I'm talking about the guns, twin. I'm talking about the drums and the... Ha! <laughs> Gay! I just think it's funny how you have a drum mag on one and an extended mag on the other when they both have a lot of ammo in them. He says, but the dick long though, twin. The drum mag is a lot of ammo in it too. Probably more so. Smooth brain. <laughs> and then he also got the muzzles aimed at you too. So, you know, that's fine. 
So I lived in an apartment for a few years while I was house hunting. I really wanted to make sure and take my time before I just bought a house. This video makes me very, 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 very happy and blessed and thankful that I don't live in an apartment anymore. Hey Ben, fresh talk to him. Thought it was a fucking game? Dust just Both fell from the ceiling. Chill, chill, chill. You know? Hey, guess how many, hey, yeah, you know what's going on? You know what the fuck is going on? Put you in your grave. Dude just shot like four or five rounds into this guy's ceiling. He thought it was cool at first and then he started getting a little paranoid and he was like, yo, chill, chill. What the freaking frick? I'm sorry, you shooting holes into my ceiling. We ain't friends no more. But that's all I have for y'all today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And leave me a comment below what your favorite clip was from today's video. Also, reminder, y'all, I will be streaming on Rumble live on Wednesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And I live stream on Twitch on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you go click on the description below. There's a link down there um, to follow me on all my socials, also including Instagram. Um, Instagram hates me, so does YouTube, but screw it. I'm not freaking leaving. Anyway, that's a wrap and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.